Hi, my name is Jeanette Mathieu, and I recently completed my training at UCSF. I was a resident in diagnostic radiology, and then after that, I was a fellow in neuroradiology. I finished my fellowship in the summer of 2023, and it's currently February 2024. In the past seven months since I completed my training, I joined a large private group. Because of its size, I've been able to read almost exclusively neuroradiology, which is, of course, my favorite. When the pandemic first began back in 2020, I made a video to introduce both the Diagnostic Radiology Training Program here at UCSF and also San Francisco, the city at large, to all of the incoming applicants who could no longer visit in person for interviews. I will show you a portion of that video at the end of this introductory segment. I'd also like to take this opportunity to encourage anyone who's considering coming to UCSF, whether that be for your residency or even for just one to two years of fellowship, that UCSF is really a great place to be. You will get top-notch training while you're here and you'll get the opportunity to meet and interact with really wonderful people. In particular, the Neuroradiology Fellowship is a very rigorous program and you will learn so much. You will emerge from this training program with all of the tools and experience necessary to really thrive as an attending. In recent years, graduates from the program have gone on to accept academic positions with a focus on research, academic positions with a focus on clinical education, large private groups like mine, small private groups, teleradiology, and even industry. UCSF will help you achieve any dream that you have for your career. And of course, if you have any interest in health tech, the Bay Area is the place to be. And then there's San Francisco. I love living here, and that's why I opted to stay even after I finished my training. Despite its well-publicized downsides, San Francisco is a really diverse, beautiful place that's incredibly culturally rich. There's a stellar food scene, and there's so much natural and architectural beauty out here that I, I find myself in awe on a daily basis. The weather is another huge draw. I love to run, and I'm able to run 365 days of the year in a t-shirt and shorts. I do feel personally secure navigating the city by myself and walking around, whether that's during the day or at night. And we're very close to many other great destinations for quick day or weekend trips. We're an hour away from Napa and Sonoma. We're about two hours away from Monterey and Big Sur. We're a few hours away from the Central California coast, as well as Yosemite and Lake Tahoe. And don't just take it from me. 60% of my residency class chose to stay in the Bay Area after residency. And of the people who left, about half of them left um, due to family reasons. And according to the AMA, California has the highest retention rate for residents after training, with 78% of residents opting to stay here in California when they finish. At this point, I'd like to show you part of the video I made back in 2020, which is a run through San Francisco. We'll start at Alamo Square, home of the Painted Ladies, and then make our way down to the Panhandle of the Golden Gate Park, up to Twin Peaks, back down to Keysar Stadium and the Golden Gate Park. We'll stop by the museums in Golden Gate Park and the Redwood Grove, and we'll make our way down to Ocean Beach and then climb up the cliffs to Land's End and then back down to Baker Beach at the northwest corner of the city. Uh, we'll meet a lot of colleagues um, from the department on this run and I hope you enjoy this little snapshot of life in San Francisco. Thank you so much. Water's nice and cold. Let that light come down. Just let your body let you float away. Oh Lord, I see you like today. Here and gone right now. The second hand is first to go away.
Hey, paint me where you know. Leave my soul on blue dress. Show me all your fever dream ways. Oh Lord, sing me what I knew. Leave my heart blood through this everlasting moment of today.
Let it rock and roll, yeah. Let it up, get shown. 